That's all I would say. I'd say in more my personal mission of it, I hope it is an introduction to cocoa, a proper one, because I think a lot of people, especially in this country, we, we've known about this story. And because of the way we viewed it through the justice system, we only looked at this boy as, you know, one or the other victim or perpetrator, good, evil, right? And um, you and I both know life's way more nuanced than that. And I was just thankful that in this introduction to him, because I think a lot of people think they know him, but they do not, that I get to be the sort of the, the gopher between, you know, the, the proxy. Well, I mean, I think at first I just tried to understand it, which ended up being this kind of roundabout process because, you know, obviously the details are what they are. We know what his ending is. We have all this this paper trail to get there. And so you're taking all that in and, and I'm doing all this prep and I'm working with like American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, all that. And I'm trying to get a grasp of like, all right, well, what does that look like day to day? I mean, it, it can't, it can't always look like that, all these things. And essentially what it came back to was just, I looked at myself and I was like, I've said these things before. I didn't always mean them. And sometimes I meant them. Both things are true. And it's funny because it, that's the kind of grace that we give ourselves. And it was so beautifully changing for me to give it to him. And that then it became really like this light, easy thing to play this boy because I then all of a sudden could see how much love was in him and how much light was in him. I want them to remember him. Simple as that. I mean, I really want personally as, as what I brought to it, I want, I'm championing this, this kid. I always will. So I am just hopeful that people come into the, the door just be, for that thing alone, that they get to know him. But as a person working on this entire production, and I'm so proud of it, I really hope people kind of walk away from this asking themselves the question, which is like, I've been trying to blame somebody for this whole this whole mess, but I think it's possible we haven't asked the right question of blame, which is, I think a little, the answer is a little murkier. It's a little more, this happened under all of our watch. And I, I personally believe it continues to happen all the time. And so I hope people just go away asking that question, not with some particular answer in, in mind, but just taking pause.